What's up, Price Bond Nation and Nutribio Bio Crew? This is Mike Roberto with Brandon DeCruz of Nutribio. We're here in Middlesex, New Jersey at the Nutribio World Headquarters. We're gonna get a plant tour and all that, but one of the biggest uh, hyped up and, and most proud moments that you guys had lately is a two ingredient supplement known as Upsorb. So we have a pretty in-depth blog post that we're gonna link to in the description talking about it, but uh, we don't have a video yet kind of explaining what's going on. So Absolutely. it contains two ingredients that you've started to put into a lot of your other supplements. Yeah, we have. And then you started realizing, well, there's a lot of other stuff that it could help with too, so let's just... Exactly. You tell me this story. All right, so we, we initially started with Bioprene. We had uh, Bioprene in a lot of our products that had low bioavailability. So mm -hmm. examples of that, there's our CoQ10, which is very well known for, for being a, a product that's extremely beneficial for cardiovascular tissue and, and health, but has low bioavailability. And mm -hmm. then also our extreme joint care, which is uh, a multi-complex um, formula that is extremely efficacious for joint health. Mm -hmm. So we started with that ingredient. Bioprene has a lot of research, even if you look into the pharmaceutical industry. So what is Bioprene? So Bioprene is a black pepper extract. Right. It's going to help the absorption of every, not every nutrient, but many nutrients, uh, many pharmaceuticals, mm -hmm. things of that sort. So it's gonna just help the uptake of the actual ingredient itself and help to get more out of it itself. So more of the bioavailability. So for example, uh, there was a lot of research that we were looking at when we were um, looking to do curcumin advance. So curcumin right. advance is our C4 product. I'm not gonna go in depth on there because we are covering up. We do, I do have a very long video on that, so we can link no, back to that. that incredible that's great. product. Yeah. But we're looking at it, and curcumin is, is just so well known for having such a low bioavailability, despite mm -hmm. the fact, even if you get um, a, a 95 percentile of curcuminoids. So with that, you either wanna pair it with a fat source, but a lot of people are you know cautious about taking fat because mm -hmm. it's gonna impact their dietary um, you know regimen. So with that being said, uh, we looked in the studies on bioprene, and there was a 2,000% increase yeah. in cur curcumin absorption. So that off the bat was a huge benefit. So with that being said, um, we looked at bioprene and we started putting it in products, but then all of a sudden we were doing a lot of amino acid products. So we did our, uh, first we did our EA Pure, which is a brick and mortar product. It was a, mm -hmm. a full spectrum essential amino acid blend. And we wanted to increase the uptake of that, and we started looking into estrogen by Nula Science. And there was such clinical research being done on the uptake of aminos, up to 67% of absorption of aminos mm -hmm. in, in totality. So arginine is in the 40%. You have L-citrulline increasing absorption, mm -hmm. you have 33% increase in, in creatine absorption, and then other different minerals. So your CoQ10s that we were using Bioprene for for the last five years, Estrogen was helping to increase it by another 30%. Right. So we started thinking Different about, pathway, like are we... Yes, yeah, so more through the gut pathway. So it's gonna help with... Um, doesn't directly help with gut health, but it's gonna help with intestinal lining, so it's gonna increase that absorption, the mm -hmm. uptake into the intestines mm -hmm. of these products. A lot of times it's broken down, a lot of these ingredients, you know, the, the products that you take are broken down in the stomach. So, and, and then they're kind of excreted. So with that being said, we started looking into what synergistic pathways are they working on, but also what synergistic products can they amplify? Mm -hmm. Or also, not only the synergism, but what different products can they target and if you put them both together, you can increase the absorption of all of those nutrients. So your mm -hmm. B vitamins, um, your resveratrol, another product that we have out, transresveratrol, known for low bioavailability. So we have right. a very high standardized extract. Mm -hmm. With that being said, you take uh, a product like Absorb, it's gonna increase the absorption of it. So it's all these nutrients that are expensive first and foremost, mm -hmm. but it isn't, you know, I always say this with nutrients and with food. So the reason I take digestive enzymes every day you know, from anything from betaine to help with uh, hydrochloric acid production, right. or, uh, you know, amylase, peptase, all that kind of stuff, protolase. Um, I'm taking those things to increase the absorption of the food that I'm taking in, because you aren't what you eat, you aren't what you take as a supplement, mm -hmm. you are what you absorb, you assimilate, right. and you're able to actually utilize. So with that being said, that was the whole um, intention behind this product. Mm -hmm. We really wanted to make it a multivitamin for your supplements, but not only your supplements, but also your nutrition. So how do we get the most at the least, essentially? You take a product like Absorb. Right, so well, yeah, one thing I realized is that there's a lot of, estrogen especially, because when, by, <laughs> first off topic question, mm -hmm. How do you pronounce? So I've heard every pronunciation. Have you actually talked to the company who sells Bioparin? I, I have. I call. I hear Bioparin. I hear they they do refer to it as Bioparin. But it is, okay. Yes. And I say Bioparin, so you know <laughs> what? Um, 
<laughs> we're, we're all up to our own interpretation. It's, I know, it's hilarious. It's, like, it's a black pepper extract. Yeah, That's I know. Like yeah, and then so it's, yeah, 95% piper, but I, I hear every pronunciation, so it's kind of funny. Anyway, that was uh, all jokes aside and everything with biopera. And yeah, the, the research, the first research cited was with the curcumin, 2,000% yes, uptake. And then you started seeing in a ton of supplements, because why not? And, and, and so if you're ever like taking a supplement and you notice like a black pepper smell or taste, because sometimes it it's poofs pooping. up, that's probably the bioperin. Um, and so then I realized though that with estrogen, there is a lot of stuff that it can amplify and a lot of people aren't selling supplements alongside with it. Absolutely. And so that's where I think this makes a lot of sense. So what I've started to do, because what you guys are starting to talk about is a 12 hour half life. So I've started to take it with my multivitamin in the morning, okay. which doesn't have absorb. Absolutely. And do, how do you pronounce absorb? Is it absorb? It is absorb. Okay. Yeah. I call it. Absorb. Just and like then, right, exactly. To absorb your nutrients. Exactly. So I take that with my multivitamin, and then on the other end of the day, um, because you, you guys have been talking about twelve hour half life, kind of. Yes, then sir. I've been taking that with dinner. So that's yeah, that's perfect. that's been my stack. But I, I, the way I see it is like, no multivitamin has these two ingredients in it, as far as I know. So I'm going to take it with the multivitamin. The Absolutely. So that's perfect, perfect way to implement it. I generally suggest for most of my clients, customers, and, and just people that inquire mm-hmm. about the product to me, take it with breakfast first and foremost. That's generally when you're going to take in your most your your multivitamins because multivitamins a lot of them they're they have fat soluble vitamins. Right. Now keep in mind that this increases uh, fish oil absorption by 100. percent So mm-hmm. say you're going to take a fish source or a fish oil source or omega three fatty acid source mm-hmm. with your multivitamin, which I do suggest people do, mm-hmm. so you can absorb more of your vitamin D and right. your fat soluble yes. vitamins like vitamin A and vitamin E. Mm-hmm. So. You have the complex of multivitamin containing those fat soluble vitamins, then you take your, your omega threes, and a lot of times just even for convenience, I'm very into nutrient timing, but a lot of people they just want to take all their pills at once. Yeah. So they take all their omega threes, they take their multivitamin, maybe a, a little extra vitamin D because most people are deficient. They'll take some magnesium or some of their essential minerals mm-hmm. that um, a lot of people are, are deficient in, maybe some zinc as well. So you take that and then you take the absorb and you're you take in, you know, protein. You know, some type of protein containing food, you know, increase the absorption of all those nutrients. Mm-hmm. You know, and a lot of times we suggest that people will take in amino acids in the morning as well. So it's perfect to increase the absorption of those nutrients, not only the food that you're taking in, but the supplements you're maximizing, even if it's not our product. So it wasn't, this wasn't the intention, hey, stack it with every NutriBio product we have. It's right. going to increase the absorption of a lot of NutriBio products. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But we also put this combination in a lot of our products. Mm-hmm. So in our Alpha EA. Our nootropic and adaptogen based essential, uh, you know, essential amino acid products in our EA Pure, in our EA Energy. Um, we put this in our curriculum advance. So yeah. they have that. It's not, you know, you would have to take twice the, the dose to get the clinical dose, which is why this is so convenient because this is a $15 add on. So it's right. super um, easy to implement, both from a cost perspective, mm-hmm. but also from even just a daily habit perspective, it's two small capsules. It's not hard to get down. That's another component. Oh, they're tiny. A lot yeah. of people. They're, they're minuscule like that, you know. I can take this out. It's gonna be hard to see on camera, but extremely. Especially your <laughs> your huge hands. It's I can't even grab it. So if you guys see this, it, it's minuscule. So that complaint about you know I hate taking down a lot of pills. It's not a complaint with this type of product, no. but it's maximizing whether it's our NutriBio products or anyone's. Mm-hmm. Any supplement you, you guys review, thousands of supplements. And anything that you're taking, not anything, but a lot of the right, things that you're taking, it's going to be able to increase the efficiency and the effectiveness of it. And that's really what it's about. It's about getting the most out of the least. Right. So what is the uh, most interesting use of it you've heard from any customers or anyone else? Have you, you know has what? anyone I stacked have... it with something and you're like, oh, I didn't think of that? You know what? I'm going to be honest. I haven't heard anything too unique. And I think it's because we went through such a beta testing process. So I'll be honest. Here, we, we beta test things in such a long format. Um, we're going to go in later into some of our newer products and I'll, I'll tell you more about the beta testing process. But with that being said, Dan and I were using this, Dan, our VP, we're using um, the raw powders of estrogen and bioprene mm-hmm. in almost every product that we took. So we probably overdosed on it, to be honest. Not that there's no toxicity rate, but right. with that being said, we were taking it with everything we could think of. Our pre-workouts, our intra-workouts, we were putting the powders you know, with meals. We were putting in our protein powder and our cream of rice in the morning. <laughs> so we were trying everything we could just to increase the, the absorption. Now, keep in mind, we have access to this stuff. I'm not telling the general consumer yeah, right, to spend right. their money on mm-hmm. raw materials and raw powders and, and to do that. But what, what's being said is you want the clinical dose. You want the 100 milligrams of the estrogen and the 10 milligrams of the bioprene. Mm-hmm. And with that, you're taking two capsules. It's super simple. You're spreading it out. I generally suggest with breakfast and with either 
your pre-workout meal or even with your pre-workout so you can increase the absorption of those nutrients the citrulline in there the creatine mm -hmm. um, the leucine content mm -hmm. that is in a lot of pre-workouts or even in your amino acid products if you're someone that doesn't take stimulants pre-workout and also your intra-workout nutrition because it's you know that half life is going to your system right. so it's going to really maximize that peri-workout window of taking in proteins and carbohydrates pre you know, pre-workout, mm -hmm. your intra-workout, whether it be just amino acids, your amino acids and electrolytes, your amino acids, carbs and electrolytes, and then your post-workout, you know, proteins and carbohydrates. Gotcha. Now someone's gonna ask, so I might as well ask right here, is it gonna make my caffeine hit harder? You know what, that is something that they haven't looked into yet. They are doing a lot of clinical research on, um, on different ingredients. Mm -hmm. Right now, one that I find most interesting is hemp. They're looking into and that was the other thing. <laughs> yeah, they are looking. They are in uh, stage two clinical testing of that. Really? Uh, the the research is obviously still not disclosed. Uh, they are. They did hint at um, being very favorable in the direction that they thought it was. So I, I find that to be extremely interesting first and foremost. Right. But it hasn't been tested on any central nervous stimulants to my knowledge, uh, and I have come through the research quite extensively. Right. So, my yeah. So my, my anecdotal feedback for those of you wondering if it is having an effect, I haven't felt it. It's so it's like it hasn't doubled my caffeine hit or anything like yes. that. And I don't think that uh, that would be possible. But if there is a little bit of an uptake, um, yeah, it hasn't been so strong that I I've felt it. So I wouldn't I would not be afraid of taking this with a stiff pre workout. Is what I'm no, not at getting all. at. Like and, it, and the I, other but, thing yeah. is, there's very few stimulants that have low bioavailability. So unless you're right. a really like heavy extruder of caffeine and you need a very high dose. Caffeine's generally gonna hit you the same way, despite the fact that you're right. gonna downregulate your receptors to it. So you're gonna build that caffeine tolerance mm -hmm. to it itself. But besides that, do you really need to increase ingredients like that? Those aren't essential ingredients. Mm -hmm. So really what we were focusing on here were essential ingredients. So omega-3s, essential fatty acids. Yes. You're looking at essential nutrients, you know, resveratrol, you know, antioxidant polyphenol uh, compounds that are gonna help with longevity, with health. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, things like curcumin that are gonna help with uh, lowering inflammation and so many other benefits, joint health, things of that sort. So those were more essential products. So I want people, you know, here, when we try to educate people on supplementation, we are a supplement brand and we do specialize in sports nutrition, but we are so much more than that. And I, I constantly get questions from, you know, thought leaders like yourself, critical thinkers, but also from consumers and customers. Why do I have so many SKUs? We don't wanna just put ourselves in a niche where we only appeal to the bodybuilder or fitness right. enthusiast. We want to appeal to every every person, from your elderly grandmother to your house mom or soccer mom, someone that just wants to better their life, better their health. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, this type of product is to do that, to be a multivitamin to your supplement regimen and your nutritional regimen. Awesome. All right, well, yeah, I don't have any further questions. I think you're going to have to stay tuned to the whole, uh, to the estrogen research with respects to the CBD, because I think that's like a whole other world that I'm not sure like how, how it would even be approached have, or anything. As just like a little caveat to that, I do have, um, very fortunate. I'm very good friends with these guys. They are going to be giving me the first initial, uh, you know, clinical studies and the research as well as the results whether it's in their favor or not so I'll be able to give you guys an update if you guys want to get back on a video and we can go over some of the research uh, the newer research that they have but really what we really liked about this uh, product and this ingredient especially this company was they are so cutting edge they didn't just stop at you know these essential nutrients and say you know we want to you know we're not going to test anything else because we're selling very well because it is getting included in a lot of products as the last year has become very popular but mm -hmm. they're continuing to you know, go to the frontier of science and really try to find out what can the, what else can this maximize? Because there are so many, you know, if you don't test it, you don't know. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Brandon, thanks again. Absolutely. Everyone else, subscribe to the channel Price and check out PriceLaw.com slash NutriBio. We're going to have a lot of content from the, this whole weekend and everything. So you're going to be seeing plenty of it on the PriceBio channel. And uh, we got a few more things to talk about. It's not just going to be all supplements. It's not going to all be NutriBio. Of course, NutriBio is going to come in here and, and uh, we're going to be sipping on some NutriBio. But we're going to be talking about some diet stuff and some Absolutely. workout stuff and some nutrition stuff as well. So uh, thanks again, Brandon, for bringing us a lot of your knowledge. You've obviously uh, undertaken the task of like get, going on the mega deep dives of a lot of this stuff that's and, it, and that's what and we, we need here. to get you yeah get that brain back out into the into the ether here on youtube Let's so do it. all right thanks